Bradley. Bradley had the ability to woo everyone that he met. The he entire really nation fell in love with him. I know, it's crazy. Honestly, can't believe how much everyone fell in love with him because mm -hmm. it's just my baby and like his personality was fantastic. Yeah, it was just something very special about him. His love of football, of course, as we know, knew no limits whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Sunderland being the team and we saw yeah. Jermaine Defoe there as well. He, he created very special relationships with people within the football fraternity, didn't he? He did. You know, Bradley could just look at somebody, he would know that he, he wanted to be friends with that person and obviously Jermaine was one of them people and the connection that they had was absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. Yeah. And he made Bradley's last couple of months, um, he put smiles on his face. Yeah, and in fact, um, <coughs> when, when ba Bradley sadly lost his fight, the, the football fraternity came out in force to show their grief and, and to let you know that they were, were thinking about you in that terrible The time. whole football community have been amazing. Um, and you know, they still are supporting, mm. they still continue to support the, our other families that we help in now. And, mm. I, Football's just not football, it's about being a community and it's about supporting one another. You know, we have to just take each day as it comes. It's still very early days for us, but what I said earlier to one of the parents, it doesn't matter whether it's six months or six years, I'm going to feel exactly the same, because I don't think it's something that you can ever get over. Um, but I try my best to get up on the morning and, you know, the, having the foundation really helps us to get up and get dressed and you know when I know that I'm helping other families that makes me feel better. And you put an awful lot of time into the foundation don't you? I mean as you say from the second you wake up in the morning that's what your purpose is. Absolutely. The second I wake up to the last thing on night, I just I work all day on hopefully um, fundraising for these families that desperately need the money to obviously yeah. for their children and that helps me because it means that Bradley wasn't here for no reason. He was here for a purpose and for me to continue his legacy is extremely important. Mm -hmm. And what are you doing now with the foundation? I know fundraising obviously is clearly mm -hmm. a huge part of that, but you're, you're thinking above and beyond all of that all of the time, aren't you? Yeah, you know, fundraising is one of our main parts for the families, but we want to give money to research. We've also got our For Brad campaign with Sunderland Football Club, and this is to build a holiday home for mm -hmm. sick children to be able to go and enjoy themselves and make special memories. And we to not think about the illness. Yes, absolutely. For a few days, for the whole family to be that way. It's so hard having a child that's poorly and being in hospital all that time to get away for a few days and be normal is it's really important and it brings the family back together because your family's torn apart when you've got a child that's poorly and you're in hospital. Yeah, it's very difficult on other children potentially as well. It's Extremely. There, there are lots of levels to it. And you've got a big gala coming up as well, of course. Yeah, we've got our first annual um, gala ball on Sunday and um, it's going to be fantastic and it's our official launch because we've not actually officially launched the charity um, so you're be, doing it in style then, yes this absolutely it'll be fantastic <laughs> good for you Gemma well there are a couple of people who want to thank you for everything that you've done we've got little three-year-old Siobhan here oh there she is hello with mum hello darling <laughs> with mum Sarah and Alfie hello Alfie welcome take a seat oh, with mum Shelley Gorgeous. That's for you. I know, um, mums, firstly, um, Gemma just being Gemma and being such a force and, and she's someone to talk to when you feel no one else really understands where you're coming from. Is that how you feel, Shelley? Yeah, she's been fantastic. She's been at the end of the phone whenever I've needed to call her. Mm -hmm. She's been fab. Yeah. <sighs> yeah she's, Gemma's amazing. You know, she understands the emotions that we're feeling. Mm -hmm. That's why we joined the Bradley Lowry Foundation and her support and guidance and help is just amazing. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. you have, these parents are obviously going through a horrendous time and yes, I do obviously have an insight of what they're going through, but they're doing amazing. You're doing absolutely fantastic and they've got a brilliant team behind them, haven't you? And you know, like, they take each day as it comes, like I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Do. you yeah. do. Absolutely. It's sometimes it's that feeling of like you feel like you're on your own, don't you? But when you know that that isn't the case, there are people around you that know exactly how you're feeling, yes. can tell you what's about to happen. Yeah. All of those little things mean the world, don't they, when you're in that moment? Yeah, yeah. definitely. I think so. Um, obviously, Siobhan and Alfie have both got neuroblastoma, yeah. so um, the which what obviously Bradley had. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So it's not a very nice 
disease to have and it rips the family apart. So th these families are going through heartache on a day-to-day -day basis no. as well as having a um, fundraise for treatment. Gemma, you know, I'm going to have to stop you there because Siobhan has spotted something very, very important because we've got a little gift for Siobhan because I know you're a huge fan of Peppa Pig, aren't you, Siobhan? So we have decided, here we go, you've got your very own Peppa. That's for you, darling. I could see her spot that about 30 seconds ago. I thought, oh, I think I like that. We've also got tickets for you and the family to visit Peppa Pig World. Thank you Courtesy of Pulse. It's not at all. You'll love it. Oh, it's brilliant. Thank you. Alfie, we're not leaving you out. You're a huge Chelsea fan, I believe. Yes. Well, we've got you the new jersey. And I happen to know Chelsea's all-time oh, highest goal scorer, Mr. Frank Lampard, who signed it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it in there, Alfie. <laughs> that is for you. Thank, thank you. you. Not at all. You're very welcome. Thank you so much for coming in. And best of health to all of you as well. Of course.